Good morning, my nice people. How are you doing today? So I am at work polishing glasses right now. And I did have someone in the comments request a video about tips and tricks of the country club. So here's that video. So to start, <clears throat> you know, when you start working at a country club and they give you a tour of where everything is, pay close attention to where the to-go containers are, the coffee cups, the to-go cups, pay attention to where everything is. Um, you know, because that makes you dependable and that makes you reliable and sometimes people that have been at this job for years don't even know where half the things are. Mind you, I know where everything, everything is. Um, play cl uh, pay close attention to, you know, the setups on a table. For example, on a table, I will post pictures in the uh, in this video of the setups to make sure that your setups are always your full setups are always on the table so with the setups it's um it's a plate a butter knife um sorry i'm looking at someone it's um a bnb plate a small butter knife and then um that's on the left end of where the member would sit and then you would put a small fork and a big fork you know their salad fork and their dinner fork and then in the middle, you would put um, a napkin folded up in a pretty triangle. And then you would put um, to the right of the napkin, you would put a big knife and a, so their dinner knife and a teaspoon for dessert or coffee or sugar or for whatever they would need it for. Um, what else? Pay attention to you know how close your glass is to your spoon because you don't want your glass to be too far out you want it to be just close enough where the spoon uh, will touch the glass um, also make sure that your linens on your tables are always clean um, make sure that when you come in first thing in the morning you clean the coffee machine that you clean um, that you clean the counter that you stock up with a uh, soda cans, um, that there's enough milk and a cream for the shift, that you cut up fruit. So we cut up lemons and limes for both lunch and dinner in the morning. That way, you know, midway we don't have to stop and cut up more stuff. Make sure that when you polish your glasses that they're nice and clean. Um, what else? Throughout the shift, um, you know, when you start your shift, First thing you do is go to go up to the table. Um, depending on how many members you have at your table, um, say hello. How are you doing today? Um, may start us off with something to drink. Usually we have drink specials, so we'll let them know about the drink specials. If they end up not choosing a drink special, then they'll pick something else. They'll ask you what kind of bourbon, scotches, beers we have. Always try to know at least three bourbons, three beers, three scotches, three of any given type of liquor that we have, any wines, try to know at least two of them or three of them, it would be better for you. Um, what else? You uh, go into the computer, the POS system, put their drinks in. Um, let me go back. So when you get a table, when you, like, so as servers, we all get sections, depending on how many servers there are. So if we have six servers, they'll split up uh, all three rooms into different sections. So when, you're, when your table gets seated with members, you go up to the table and you greet them, you tell them, you ask them how they're doing. Um, the server, as she's sitting them, she will give them a dinner menu or a lunch menu. And um, you know, that's when you walk over to ask if they would like anything to drink. Um, after you drop off your drinks at the table, um, you will ask them, if they have any questions about the menu, if there's anything they need to know, you will tell them about the soup of the day. Uh, for example, the soup of the day or of the week this week is uh, shrimp bisque, so I'll tell them that. If there's any dinner specials that are not on the menu, I'll usually tell them that. So I usually like to write them on a piece of paper um, right before the shift starts because there is a lot of stuff that you have to memorize, I mean, that you would have to learn. And the specials change every week, so you don't want to, like, you know, try to memorize that and then you have to delete it and then the next week you have to put new things in so I kind of always walk around with my notepad.
there are servers that can take a full like six person order in, on in their head and they're good to go but i can't because sometimes you could forget stuff and the notepad helps you because you can write down everything even the tiniest detail you can write it on your notepad after you drop off the drinks and ask them if they have any questions about the menu you give them about five ten minutes to um look at their menus or if they're chatting or if they're just enjoying their drinks you give them some time then you walk over to the table ask them if they um if they're ready to order or you can say would we like a little more time to look at our menus you know just so you don't come off rude because if you say oh you're ready to order like some people might feel you know like harassed so you can just ask them if they have any questions or if they would like some more time to look at their menu um once they tell you that they are good to go you can start taking their orders first um always take the women's orders the women if there there are with female members at your table take their orders first and then take the male's orders after that <clears throat> after you take their orders in you try to put them you would put them in in the order that they were received according to their seat numbers so at the table there's seat one seat two C3 and C4. Um, so you'll put it in, you'll put their sat, like if they have an appetizer, you'll put the appetizer in first. Um, as a second course, you would put in their salad, and you know, last but not least, you would put in their entree. Um, if they just have a salad, then you just put salad, their salad, and their entree. Same thing with everyone else's order. Um, our house salad, for example, comes with balsamic and it always comes on the side. But if you would like just to be extra special with them, you can ask them if they would like a different dressing. Um, so their salad does come with, I mean, their entree does come with a salad. So it's either a house or a Caesar. It, they can get a soup, but the soup is an additional charge. It's like $2. Um, after you take their, after you put, you know, get their orders in, you put them into the computer, you put them in, you know, depending on, on uh, what it is, first course, second course, third course, according to their seat numbers. After that, the runner will receive the order to, to take out their salad. So they'll get their salad or their appetizer, um, whatever it may be. And then you can go ahead and check on them, make sure that their salads are okay, that they've got their dressing, that they have everything they need. If, they, if you think that they're low on drinks, go over and check on the table and ask them if they would like something else. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it's our job to ask. Hi. Hey, how are you? Um, well, like I was saying, um, after you check on them, once they get their salads, you kind of give them some time to just relax and chill out. Hey, how are you? So throughout the shift, the mom. So throughout the shift, so throughout the shift, I'm sorry, um, you will just keep an eye on their drinks. If they're low on drinks, you go and ask them if they would like something else. I did say this already once, but you always try to anticipate what the member will need before they ask you for it. So if your drink is low, go to the table and ask them if they would like something else. If they're halfway done through their salads, you know to go and attempt to clear their plates. Or if they are, or if they're done with their salads after you clear their plates, you go and fire the table, which means that you'll let the kitchen know that you need it to come out for them. Um, but don't wait till the last plate. Don't wait to clear the last plate to fire their food. Wait till there are at least two plates um, two people at least still eating before you fire their food. So, like I was saying, um, wait till there are at least two people still working on their salads um, before you fire their food. Once you fire their food, you just, it's kind of a waiting game, just waiting for their food to come out and be ready. Um, and after the food is ready, you go over to the table and you check to make sure that everything's okay. I forgot, I did forget to mention one point. So if a table orders steaks or pork chops or any kind of beef that requires a knife, as soon as you take their food order, grab your steak knife and drop it off at the table because sometimes you will get more tables and you won't have time to drop off that steak knife and sometimes the busser or the runner will have to drop it off and that's not 
their job. You know, that's that's the server's responsibility. For example, at the country club that I work at, we do have a person for every job. So we do have, you know, the busser, we have the runner, we have the server. Um, so, I mean, you're never just doing anything by yourself. The server, you know, serves, takes the order, drops off drinks, um, make, sure, make, sh make sure that everything with the table is okay. And, you know, the runner runs the food, um, the buster cleans up, resets the table, but the server can always help out. Anyone can always help out with what they can, but no one has a specific like job. Like we do and we don't. Like, you know, if you know that you can help out another server with getting them a steak knife or getting a drink for them, help them. Because at the end of the day, everything at this job is team effort, even though we all have our own sections. So if you can help someone else, help them whether it's getting them a drink, but obviously let them know that you're gonna get a drink for their table. That way they don't go back to their table and check up on them to see if they need drinks and then they'll end up looking stupid. So the biggest thing is communication. If you're gonna do something for another server, let them know that you're doing it. If you're putting in another drink for them, let them know. If you're running a drink for them, let them know. Always be in communication with your, with your teammates, um, be in communication with the kitchen. You know, if, um, one of the members at the table asked for different sides. Make sure you put those in. Make sure any little thing, specify it. You can always specify a lot of things in the computer. I will go on the computer and kind of, you know, simulate me taking an order so that you can see what that looks like. Um, and well, a little about me. I've been at this job for four years now. I started out as a server. I mean, I'm still a server as we speak but now I am, I've been promoted twice. So I was a shift leader and now I'm a supervisor. So in my responsibility, it entails doing the same things that servers do, plus making sure that the servers, the other servers are also doing their jobs, making sure that everyone is doing their job, making sure that everything is good, the tables are good, the glasses are watered, um, the plates are clean, the linens are clean, you know, everything's a team effort. So you always have to keep, I'm, I'm kind of in charge of keeping everyone on their toes, you know, making sure they're good, making sure nothing's ever missing, making sure that the member's happy. And, you know, I love this job because I mean, the view is, ex is spectacular. The members are very sweet. They're very polite. They're very generous. They're very caring. Like, they don't just come and eat, like they like to get familiar with you. They like to get to know you. And this is the kind of place where you can work at and network because a lot of these members, they they are people in power. And you know, there's this saying that if you know how to network, you can get anywhere in life. But if you don't know how to network, you're not gonna get too far in life, I guess. I don't mean that in an offensive way. I'm just saying if you can talk to people and get to know them, you know, people are always going to be willing to help you. Like someone once told me that there are two things in life that if you learn them about a people, you can just about get anything you want from them. So that is their name and their last name and their birthday. Because a lot of people, their birthdays are very important to them. So if you can learn those two things about people, great or if simply if you can just ask people how they're doing or how their family or families are doing that that's all that some people need or how is their day going you know any little thing that you ask a member it will leave a good impression on you and obviously that'll leave a good impression on them um what else sometimes um members will come and just have drinks you know, again, when when they're like halfway through their drink, go over and ask them if they would like something else to drink. Don't wait for them to come looking to, to come and look for you. Always anticipate a member's needs, whether they would need more water, whether they would need a drink, whether they would want a, a bar menu just to have a small bite to eat or just anything. Just always anticipate what a person's going to need before they ask you for it or before they come looking for you. And what else? I mean, kind of just. When I get to work, I always try to tell people, when you get to work, um, we have a checklist that we complete. So on there, it'll say, clean the coffee machine, um, clean the counter, cut a fruit for the shift, 
Uh, make sure you stock up the soda cans. Make sure you stock up um, the fridge with milk, cream. Make sure you stock up the sugar caddies. Make sure your tables are correct with their glasses, their setups, their napkins. Just you know, just make try to make sure everything's always organized, and make sure you're always in communication with your teammates. That way, you know what you should do. Like if you clean the the coffee machine in the morning you know, let someone know that you already did it. That way the next person that comes in doesn't do it. You know, that way they don't repeat their jobs. Because sometimes people get upset. Um, if you go into work and one person clean the coffee machine and then you come and clean it again because of lack of communication, had you communicated that or had the other person communicated that to you, you wouldn't have cleaned it twice. So the biggest thing anywhere in any job is communication. And you know, always take the initiative you know, if you see a table, like right now, if a table were to come in to want to go into the patio, I would grab four of these water glasses, I would grab four mats, I would grab a salt and pepper shaker, and I would go and seat them. I have lunch menus here, so I would give them lunch menus, I would give them water, and, you know, they would be set to go. Um, they wouldn't have to worry about me running anywhere because I wasn't prepared. Like, that's another big thing, like, always be prepared. You know, and, and always try to put your best face forward, your biggest smile forward. Even if you're not in the mood to smile, a lot of times you have to fake it to make it. So maybe you're not having a good day. These members or people in general deserve your smile because it's something pleasant. You know, it makes a person feel good when you smile at them. You're giving them positive vibes. You're giving them healthy vibes. You're giving them a warm welcome. And that's, you know, I feel like that's what any job should be about. You know, making people feel welcome, not making people feel like I don't want to be here today, so I'm just gonna give this person uh, a crappy facial expression. No, you you have to be happy, you or or at least fake it. Pretend that you're happy, even if you're having a worst day in the world. Give a person your smile, because that will make them very happy, and that will make them feel very welcome. Um, what other tips or tricks can I give you? Um, so coffee, we carry coffee out to the tables when someone asks for coffee. So usually I will show you, I will give you a snippet of a video how I carry my coffee versus how other people might carry their coffee. But um, yeah, there's a, there's a way that you can carry the coffee. That way, by the time you get to the table, the coffee isn't spilled all over the, um, spilled all over the, um, the plate. Um, Cappuccino is the same thing. Um, you know, there's little tips and tricks here that I can give you that I will show you. Um, throughout this video so definitely please pay pay close attention and another thing is this job I mean at this country club where we where I work where we work it is a no tipping club but you know there's a chance that you may get a tip what you should do is be discreet say thank you put it in your cop pocket and don't make a big deal about it because some people might get upset over that <clears throat> you know that might be like why did this person get tipped and I didn't or why are people getting tipped but I haven't like it's not a competition it's a job like you know here we make a higher pay wage um, because it's not a tipping club so we make and in, in, in my opinion I think we make okay money you know at least for me I make okay money I will never disclose how much I make but again I have gotten promoted once or twice so I have I do make maybe a little bit more than other people do at this job. But that's because, like I said, hard work gets you far. And I wanted to advance in this in this industry, so therefore, you know, I got it together. I let my boss know that I wanted to be considered for a supervisor position, and he was like, keep doing what you're doing. But then I also said to him, I'm like, is there anything that I can be doing better? He's like, no, you're doing a great job, keep doing what you're doing. So therefore, you know, now I'm here, and now I'm a supervisor. Um, but yeah, okay, pay close attention because I will be posting up uh, this video as soon as I am able to edit it. But on another note, I finally did red lipstick and I did like a light eyeshadow look, which is very, very pretty. And this hairstyle is half up, half down. This is Excuse like, me? yes, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <clears throat> And again, so we are in the service station and I'm going to show you how to carry coffee in your tray. So I just serve some coffee in here. So usually they tell us to put the coffee cup on 
the plate but by the time you get to the table if you pour too much this is what will happen you'll have like a spill of coffee on it so what I like to do is I'll serve my coffee and I'll put them side by side I'll stack up my plates here that way by the time I go to the table to hand it I put down the plate and then the coffee cup and then you won't have that mess on there so that's one tip and trick another one so we are going to make a cappuccino that way you can see how to do things so usually you take a bread and butter plate just this one I put a doily on it and we would usually carry it to the table like this this also gets a swizzle stick and a biscotti which I'm trying to get so we do that <clears throat> and they usually tell us to carry it on the tray like this just like this but this for me is a little happy so I like to put everything separately and then I'll carry it to the table and present it like this so now I have a table right now so I already gave them water I took their drink order I took their food order and they're just kind of relaxing in the meantime I'll give you some of the benefits of working at a country club um, I don't know about all the other clubs but at my club um, we have during Christmas, we get a bonus. It might not be like, oh, it's not a lot of money, but it's nice because it's an additional money, amount of money that you get in addition to your paycheck. Um, we do get food on occasion at three o'clock. Most days they will make food for the family. So the families, the servers, the busters, the runners, the kitchen staff, everyone. So right now I'm having a turkey soup. And these little guys, these are like stuffed uh, I want to say raviolis. I don't know if there's crab in here, but it's so, so good. Um, in a little bit, I'm going to go check on my table. They started picking on their food, so they're probably still working on it. But um, other benefits. So after the three-month mark, you're eligible for the 401k. So it's in addition to your Social Security. So it's like a separate pension. Um, you also get... Um, insurance you only get health insurance you don't get dental 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 is partial but eh, i pay for my dental out of pocket with a, a website that i found online kind of like a marketplace um <clears throat> and then what else your uniform shirt is provided to you and when the weather's cold they do give you a jacket to wear your name tag they provide it for you with your shoes they have a company that they work with that you could possibly get a discount for shoes, but you can usually go to any store where they sell work shoes and purchase them there. Um, what else? On Mondays, um, you can usually come after 4 o'clock. You can come and play golf. And I recently found out that you can also come and play tennis. But the earlier in the morning, the better. So like 6, 7 in the morning, you can come and play tennis. And, you know, it's nice because, you know... And sometimes we'll have employee parties, which, you know, kind of to give thank you to the employees because, I mean, this this club wouldn't run the same if it wasn't for its employees. So, you know, it's kind of nice to have those perks. So this is what a setup looks like. It's usually in the cup like that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. And let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you. Bye.